starting your journey to financial freedom. Now, now, you are listening to the New Investor Podcast. My name is Farah Jaber, that's F-A-R-A-H, and I have been your host at the New Investor Podcast since day one. So I was born in Lebanon, a small and beautiful country filled with history by the Mediterranean Sea in a village called Ain Saade. That's about one hour and 30 minutes from the capital, Beirut. So I was adopted from a convent when I was two weeks old. I cannot begin to tell you how grateful I am today to have had so much luck uh, that early in my life by being born for one uh, and being adopted along with my brother by wonderful parents are just unbelievable odds. So it was 1980 and my country was going through the worst times in its history with a terrible, terrible civil war. And we yet again had the immense chance to fly out of the country and uh, settle in Paris. So I grew up and received my education in the most beautiful capital in the world. What are the odds of that too? So my dad, may he rest in peace, was the earliest possible version of an entrepreneur since the 60s. A self-made man sleeping on benches, uh, selling flowers, you name it. He had chosen to build his enterprise in Africa very uh, young, uh, where it is hard, and he had done extremely well. He was a wealthy and a respected businessman. So he lived life to the fullest, loved his children, loved his wife, loved cigars, loved food, loved beautiful things and the luxury made available to him in uh, his life due to his success. So he made sure we were sharing it all with him. I became a hotelier exactly because of my love and understanding for the uh, finest things in life. And I don't remember needing anything throughout uh, my uh, younger life. It was perfect. While every man aspires to provide for his family in such a way, and while I have tremendous respect and gratitude for what my father has done for us, living such a life can lead to utmost failure as a grown-up should things start shifting to another direction. And it all did as our financial situation did change. And I still did not know uh, the value of money until my late uh, 30s. So even if it did, even if our lives changed, when my father was no longer doing so well before he passed away, we always lived a comfortable life. We never accumulated debt. We were happy. My education uh, was in the best institutions in France and Switzerland. They were all paid for. And the person responsible for my success today uh, through perfect parenting is my mother, my mentor. She prepared me for the realities of life. She never allowed me to fall into an abyss, uh, usually uh, away rich kids. She is the strongest woman I know. She had taken charge of our family since she challenged my father uh, to leave the convent with two boys or not be called a man anymore. She has saved our family when she foresaw that my father was no longer on top of the food chain. She took charge of everything. So growing up wealthy is one beautiful thing when you're a child, believe me. However, my family's net worth decreased as I grew older. And this doesn't mean de facto that since I did not have it hard young, that I would not grow up to be a self-sustained, successful hospitality professional at the service of others who never took a dime from his parents since out of school and has lived and worked in hardship locations for the past 15 years, working 13 hours a day on a low pay. We all learn and approach life in different ways. There is no stereotypes for successful people or people aspiring to be successful. Everyone has a shot provided they are hungry for it. So I never knew the value of money and I just kept spending all the money I ever received to cultivate appearances. The best schools in the world did not teach me about money, how to save or how to grow it. My father did not care much for it. Only my mom started investing her savings into to real estate and kept us out of need, out of survival. So my handicap is severe with regards to my financial education. But then again, it is about action and self-awareness. Once you have a weakness and you know you suffer from it, it is up to you and to you only to fix it and grow out of it. So I did. That is why I am here with you today. I advocate action rather than words. Uh, However late you think you are, I'm 39 years old and I was reborn only two years ago. 
So I am young, I am hungry, and my aim remains to transmit everything I learn and experience while on my journey to financial freedom to you uh, through all the media I have established uh, through the podcast, Instagram, or books for now. So while we continue this journey together, and I hope for a very long time, I am humbled to have the opportunity to share a tiny part of your day with you. In the meantime, be well and stay invested. Thank you for listening to the podcast and I really hope that it brings you some additional support on your own journey towards financial freedom. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to never miss an episode and looking forward to your DM and follow on Instagram at New Investor Podcast. In the meantime, stay invested, be patient and keep playing the long-term game.